Hello everybody, Nathaniel from RC Insight here, and in this video I'm reviewing 2024 LEGO Creator 3-in-1 set 31157, the exotic peacock. This set has 355 pieces and retails for $19.99 in the United States, $24.99 in Canada. Majestic is really the only way I can think of describing this set with a fantastic arrangement of colors and a price to piece ratio that rivals the best value sets available. There is a lot to like here and a lot to talk about, so let's just jump straight into the review. And as is somewhat common with Creator 3-in-1 sets, this build doesn't have any minifigures, so we can go straight to talking about the build. And well, this is what the exotic peacock looks like. I definitely don't think the pictures or video can really do this build justice because it's honestly pretty much perfect in every way. When I opened this set up, the very first thing I noticed was just the gorgeous assortment of colors in bag one. Unquestionably, it was one of the most vibrant color palettes I have ever seen in a LEGO build. Everything was blue, green, purple, and it jumped out at me right away because I've never seen a set that is entirely colorful bricks like this. There weren't grays or whites or blacks or just all bright and colorful. And I can say for certain that those colors do not go to waste in this set. Teal is the dominant color of the feathers, and it just so happens to also be one of my favorite LEGO colors in general. The shades of blue here are also excellent, and while the set isn't actually that large, the way the feathers spread out give it quite a presence. Looking at the body of the peacock, it becomes apparent that this is actually a relatively small build, but at the same time, it feels like a perfect size. Anything smaller and I think detail would be lost, but as we've seen with sets like the UCS Hulkbuster, if the set becomes too big, the curves and angles can be really challenging to get right. This build does make use of quite a few slope pieces, in particular those quarter circle slopes that were introduced in last year's White Rabbit set. I also believe that this is the first time they've been recolored to blue. The other notable piece here is the feather design on top of the peacock's head, which looks fantastic might I add. But in order to achieve that design, they recolored the fern piece first introduced for Rivendell into this transparent pink color, which just looks so good. And I cannot wait to continue to see how this piece gets used in the future, since it's one of my favorite new elements introduced in recent years. Not sure what else to say about the body of the peacock, the beak and the claws look good, everything is just really well designed, even the head used some really unique studs not on top techniques to get the slope pieces up on both sides since the neck itself is just one by one. The feather designs are quite derivative and all eight of them are almost identical, but it never felt too repetitive because it's a relatively small set. It helps that the feather design, like the body of the peacock, is really solid. The design certainly isn't anything crazy, but the assortment of colors and pieces works really well, and it's hard to see what could be changed to make it better. If I spin this around at the back, you can see the very simple tail design, as well as how the feathers really just make use of two angled pieces with decorative elements tacked on top of them. The feathers are of course also functional. If we peel down this little brace at the back, then we can bring all the feathers back. There's maybe not a perfect way of doing this, but with a little bit of fiddling, they do all fold back and it looks pretty good when displayed like this as well, but I definitely prefer having the feathers flared out. The only other thing I feel like is worth noting here is that six of the eight feathers are on ball bearings, but the bottom two are connected with a clip that can only be manipulated on one axis and has a slightly more limited range of motion than the feathers on the ball bearings. Of course, it wouldn't be a Creator 3-in-1 set without some other excellent builds, which include a Dragonfly and a Butterfly. While neither are on the same level as the Peacock, I think the Dragonfly looks really good, and had we not just gotten an amazing Butterfly build in the recent Insect collection, I'd probably appreciate the Butterfly here more as well. As I said at the start of the video, overall the Exotic Peacock is an absolutely majestic set. The assortment of bright, bold colors of blues, purples, pinks, and greens works so well, and I've never seen a LEGO set dominated by such a gorgeous assortment of pieces. There aren't any new pieces that I was aware of, but there are a few notable recolors, especially that fern piece. The size feels just right, the detail is well done, the build is creative at times, and even the repetitive bits, the feathers, don't reach the point of feeling boring. 
The real magic comes in with the price, however. At just 20 USD for 355 pieces and so many colorful pieces at that, it's the type of price that you just don't see from LEGO and it's almost too good to be true. Creator 3 in 1 has been one of the best LEGO themes of recent years, and this year's wave is filled with so many spectacular, affordable sets, it's hard to know what to do about it or which ones you need to get. To me, with this price, the colors, and the awesome display piece you get with this set, this is pretty darn close to a must buy. And it is definitely a contender for best set of this Creator 3 in 1 wave. That is a testament to both how great a model this is, but also how great the creator theme has been lately. This is unquestionably one of the best new LEGO sets of 2024 and arguably the best in the low price range, making it an ideal set for kids and adults alike. One that offers engaging building, that doesn't feel repetitive, and really just hits the sweet spot in every way. In fact, that is how I would describe this set. It just hits the sweet spot in ways that I can't even quite explain. But it's just that kind of set. It feels right, and frankly, if you pass this set up, then I would say you are missing out. Those are my thoughts on the LEGO Exotic Peacock set, though. I love this set. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like. It's a great way for you to show your support. Subscribe for more content like this as well. Lego reviews, news videos, all that sort of stuff I have on my channel. So if that interests you, do go check it out and subscribe so you don't miss those videos when they come out. I'm putting out a bunch of Lego 2024 set reviews that you're not going to want to miss. Anyways, I'm going to leave this video here, so I just want to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.